Today's a cool day. Gotta feed the babies first. On the front of her cute little face. You ready for the visual? <laughs> What is going on guys? How is everybody doing? I'm just getting up over here at the ranch. Feeding all these crazy animals. Hey Gary, what's up? Gotta get you guys some more emu food. There we go, running out of stuff over here. Today's a cool day. Gotta feed the babies first. Big baby right here. She's a hungry girl. Little hungry big baby. Yes you are my hungry lady. Give you guys some food. We got some all stock and some alfalfa pellets. We've got to spray some more stuff on her horns. She's been rubbing her horns again on the trees. I'm gonna take a bunch of brushes and I'm gonna put them on there so she can rub her horns on those instead. You can see this whole area over here was all vegetation. Before it started getting cold out. All this down here was green, but you can see all the green that's up to where they can reach, they ate it all. So all these little leaves and stuff that the goats and the cow can reach, they literally eat everything. Before we show you the new snakes, which I'm so freaking pumped about. Female Gabino is in there, but I just noticed we soaked her yesterday and she shed. Ooh, is this a full shed? Oh my God, it is a full shed. Look, we got the head right there. The, got the eye caps in it and everything. Got a couple little holes on it, but dude, look at that freaking pattern right there. This is gonna be a cool Christmas freaking ornament. Gianna's probably gonna make it today. Dude, it's a whole, it's a full shed too. Look at that, tip of its tail. All the way to its head. That is freaking awesome. We got the pattern and everything. It's a little wet and gross right now, so we're gonna set this thing aside. Get it cleaned off and let it dry out because, dude, that is freaking sick right there. All right, guys. So the time has finally come. And I've been talking about this in the last few videos and telling you guys that I got my dream snakes already. And I've talked about them several times. I even made a video of them like a month or two ago when they were brought into the country. And so before we start this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody involved that made this happen for me. Because, dude, I'm just a, I'm just a native Floridian trying to live his dream. You know what I mean? I got my tattoo shop, got the YouTube channel, but I got the property and my family to take care of. And dude, I, I'm not made of money by any means, man. Like literally all the extra money that I get or that my family puts aside for things, we put it back into the property, taking care of our animals, whether it's buying feed, buying rats, buying our food, that that costs a ton of money, vet bills, all that stuff that we have to take care of. It really adds up. Building all these enclosures, putting up all the fencing, dude, it is just astronomical prices. So it's not like, a couple years ago, when I didn't own a property and I didn't have to fix a million things, you know, I'm not, I, I don't have extra money right now. And it's, it's really hard to make things like this happen. So, a huge, huge, huge thank you. Prehistoric predators, especially Ryan and Kyle over there. Ryan brought these snakes into the country from a guy, I believe it's in Germany, who bred them for the first time ever. Like five or six years ago, I saw these gaboons available for the first freaking time. Not available, but we saw them for the first time, dude. When I first saw that picture of an albino gaboon, bro, like never would have thought that I would actually own these snakes one day. Not only just because they're just so rare, but they're just completely out of my price range. And like everything else is more important to me than just getting these snakes. But Ryan believed in me. He held these snakes for a couple months until we could come up with the money for them. My client, Brandon, huge thank you to Brandon and his brother, Josh. I tattooed both of these guys. They come into my shop, they get tattooed. They know how passionate I am about these animals, man. And, um, and dude, and just everybody, Gianna even also. Like, Brandon, Josh, Gianna, Ryan really helped work with me. And dude, Gianna gave me some money for Christmas. Brandon and Josh put in some money also with me. Like we all shipped in together to get these animals in my possession. So that way, hopefully in the next four years, I can breed these snakes. I'm one of two people in this entire country. There's some out of the country. There's some in Dubai, there's some in Germany, there's some uh, other places in the world. Um, but as far as the United States goes, it's just me and some other kid that have them. That is it. Two people in the whole country. 
okay? So it is a just huge freaking deal for me. It's not only just like the money aspect of it, but like just like the history in all that that goes into this. It blows my mind on a daily basis that my career has taken off the way that he has. I've been doing this stuff since I was a little tiny kid. I've had venomous snakes since I was a teenager. I've been handling these animals forever, catching them, We're living in South Florida. This is what we do down here, man. And it just is so awesome that at 35 years old, I'm still doing this. Simply, it's just an honor to be able to be a part of this project, okay? And I'm super, super thankful for it. Brandon, Josh, Gianna, like Ryan, Kyle, dude, thank you guys so much, man. Like it means the freaking world to me, seriously. It's awesome, dude. I, I have the best friends, dude, seriously. Like it's just, that is, that's it for me, man. Like these snakes are awesome. But everything that's been going on lately here, I've had these snakes for a week, but it's still been such a terrible week over here. Like it's, it's been hard, man. It's not all freaking, you know, sunshine and rainbows over here. I'm just a regular person, just like you guys, okay? I struggle with the same struggles you guys have. Like there is nothing different between me and you. Like nothing, dude. I'm just another freaking dude. The only difference is, is we got a camera. Brandon helps film the videos and helps take care of everything over here. Super thankful for for Brandon also, you know, all this, all this stuff is like, it's a team effort and it's awesome. I have the best team ever and I'm so thankful for that. Let's open up these boxes and show you guys what these freaking snakes look like. I'm so pumped, dude. And just so you guys know, we have these snakes in different cages right now. I don't really want to show where um, I'm keeping these snakes at the moment. Even though we got a crazy security system over here at the house, I practice my second amendment rights religiously. If anybody were to come on the property over here, it's gonna be a really bad day for them. Just keep that in mind, guys. No funny business over here. Don't, don't, don't try to come over here doing anything, because I'm telling you, you walk on this property, you're not walking off. You know what I'm saying, man. Oh, God, dude. It's crazy, guys. Ah, oh, man. I'm pretty sure these guys were born last November, Ryan was telling me. And this is the female 100% het albino kaboom viper. So this guy is from visual parents. So freaking rad. So not only are these guys head albino and will produce albinos, we also will get some heads. They are also live birth animals, which is really cool because it's gonna really save me time and some frustration with incubating them and all of that. They're live birth, they're just gonna have a whole bunch of babies. In order to get them breeding in a few years, we're gonna have to condition them. We're gonna have to give them a nice cool down period, the whole nine yards. It's not like ball python or something. I mean, even ball pythons, you gotta cool down a little bit. Hognose snakes gotta cool down. Some snakes, you really don't really need to do that. Some snakes, you just put them together. Like the insularis, they're so easy to breed. These guys are a little bit more on the difficult side. Still not too much of a challenge and hopefully in the next four years I'll be able to figure it out and get some visual females from this het female which is just gonna be so awesome. And the colors of this girl are just absolutely beautiful man. Like she's got like these really light purples and light pinks almost like this periwinkle color on the sides of these diamonds. She has this really awesome speckling on her head that is just a lot different than normal man. These are West African Gaboon Vipers also so they're gonna have more of a predominant horn on the front. Right now they're babies and you can kind of see if you kind of get really close to their head. That's why we have them on this white background right here so you can really see the colors. She has these tiny little horns on the front of her cute little face that are just gonna grow out big. It's look really, really cool as she turns into an adult. Man, dude, I'm so freaking pumped. So lucky to have these snakes, but they definitely come with a pretty price. These guys right now, since the market is so small, visuals are selling for 25 grand a piece, which is crazy. Now, obviously in four years, maybe the market will drop a little tiny bit. Not a whole lot of people will still have them. I'm sure this guy that I got mine from is still going to be breeding them from the years to come, producing more and getting more out till then. But even say in four years, you know, maybe visual babies will be like still like maybe 15 or 20 grand. The amount of babies that they have is crazy. Like I said, live birth, they can have anywhere between 25 to 40 babies even like it is the clutch size of these things is 
just crazy. It's so freaking cool. And this 100% head is just absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, I've had these guys for a week. I don't want to handle them too much. I'm just going to kind of let her do her thing. I need to soak them. Baby gaboons, baby puff adders, all this baby stuff, baby vipers in general. You really need to make sure that they're soaked all the time because they're not really the greatest at finding water bowls at this age. So two or three times a week, I like to put them in a smaller container. We're going to fill her up with a little bit of water, put the top on and give her a good soak while we finish the rest of this video and just let her drink up some water. Let's see, let's fill this baby up a little tiny bit. Hey mama. We still gotta come up with some names too. I've been thinking about a bunch of different names for them. I really wanna come up with something very original and fitting for them. So let's just carefully go ahead and put the top on this girl right here. Boom, boom, boom. Let you drink some water. We're gonna go ahead and put her off to the side. Fold this, freshen this up a little tiny bit. Time to check out the mail. <sighs> You ready for the visual? <laughs> it's crazy, dude. I remember when I made the video over at Ryan's house, we were reading, they've got lots of comments on that video. And a lot of people were like, oh, save your money and it's not worth the money, blah, 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 blah. The, 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 the Gabinos are prettier, blah, blah, blah. Like, trust me, dude, I love my Gabinos. And they come at a great price. Gabinos, babies, you can get right now for $2,500, which is a freaking bargain compared to like the colors that they have. Gaboon Vipers are beautiful. That is your nostalgic venomous snake. I say it all the time when I talk about Gaboons. It's the reason why I fell in love with venomous snakes when I was a kid. The Gaboon Viper is just that iconic venomous snake that you see and you know that it's going to mess you up. You know not to touch it and just admire it from a distance. The looks of them, just everything about this snake just screams venomous, dude. Part of the reason why I love them, that big fat head, those big venom glands on the sides, the horns on the front, the pattern down their body. It's just like... You can't beat it. A lot of people were like, don't waste your money. The gaboons, the albinos don't look that great, blah, 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 blah. Personal opinion, guys. And it's not about the money. It's about just like, just the history of this. Just the rarity, dude. And it's just such an honor to have them in my possession. The coolest part about this is just being one of the first people to have them and the first people to just actually be able to breed them eventually. That alone to me, helping out, get these out to other people that can appreciate them, whether the price drops or not, whatever the case is, dude. Some of the first captive Gaboon Vipers that are gonna be available in the United States are gonna come from me just a couple other people, which is just like mind blowing to me. It's like some history stuff, stuff that I'm gonna look back when I'm old and be like, man, I'm so happy. Just for my family too, like in four years, the money that I can make from this investment can change my life, change, change the property. I'll have so much money to put into the property, redo the house, redo the shed, just do so many things, pay for my daughter's college, everything. Like it, it could change my life, man. And that is just like so awesome. Obviously there's a chance that they might not be able to breed. Not to think about that we're gonna stay positive okay that is what it is all about man positive vibes positive outcomes this little albino the cage that i set up for them i set them up with some orchid bark and they've been buried literally since day one look at this freaking thing it is a smoke show holy crap and then look at it against that white background dude got a piece of espen on your face right there this is the male visual they're a little bit on the strikey side still just because they're little tiny babies and they're still getting used to the world for the first time but just look at how beautiful that face is man the pinks and the light lavenders on them is just absolutely insane and like i said just a second ago She's, you can see like little bits of grain of dirt all over her because she's been buried for the last week that I've had her just getting acclimated and used to everything. They eat every Wednesday. Yesterday was the first time they've eaten here. They both slammed down medium-sized adult mites, you know, not, nothing nothing too crazy. They ate great yesterday, so today it's time for a nice little soap. But dude, this is the visual male, and we really need to come up with a really awesome name for this boy because god dang, dude, this is just such an awesome freaking snake right like holy crap look i'm looking right at me just so freaking cool dude visual male getting bred to 100 percent het female we're gonna get both we're gonna get visuals and we're gonna get hets 50 50 for the most part sometimes it's not really 50 50 sometimes you get more visuals sometimes you get less visuals you know it's kind of well, like per case. he's going to give an albino gene regardless, so everything will be head. Yeah, everything is going to be 100% head, but not everything will be visuals, which is totally fine. 
because we keep some visuals, hold back some visuals, you know what I mean? Breed visual to visual eventually, what, eight years from now? Just get visuals, dude. So I have some other ideas for this snake. I'm kind of going to keep them to myself just because these are world firsts, you know what I mean? So the potential of these snakes is kind of in my hands. I could do all sorts of weird little genetic things with these guys. And we're gonna try a few things out. And I'm not gonna really tell you guys on camera, you're just gonna have to wait and see what we do because I don't want to give any spoiler alerts out and give somebody else a better idea of what to do with these guys. I don't want to handle him too much. because, like I said, he just ate yesterday. So I don't want to just agitate him, irritate him, piss him off and maybe make him regurge because that would be crazy. Anytime your animal regurges, Regurges, they get super dehydrated because obviously if they regurge, they throw up, all their stomach biles come out. It's just not a healthy experience for them. They get super lethargic afterwards, they get very dehydrated, and it's kind of a slippery slope to get them to eat again after they do that. So I just want to be very, 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 very careful with them. We're going to go ahead, we're going to take him, we're going to put him in his little container that Ryan brought them over with. I gotta be really careful with these guys. They are not big snakes. They have a very long strike distance. So, and there, they are striking. They haven't struck right now. I just wanna be very careful with these guys. Obviously, with more age, they kinda chill down like other gaboons. Like you guys know Gabby, my big gaboon that I've had for over 10 years. Like I could take her out. Once she's out of her cage, I could just hold her pretty much normally. I don't trust her like I trust Rusty. Not even like I really trust Rusty 100%. I let Rusty get away with doing things that I don't let any other snake do because I know that snake like the back of my freaking hand. And he knows me. I do trust that snake probably a little bit more than I should. But these guys, just the venom yields and the venom that they have and just the amputation rate and just everything that can happen with a bite from one of these bad boys is just astronomical. So I do not want to risk anything. So we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna let these guys soak for a little bit and then we'll finish up this video. And dude, so pumped. All right, so we're done soaking carefully. I know I'm putting it over my lap, which is probably not the safest thing. Let's look at them side by side real quick too. Be as gentle as possible. Hate for these guys to like swing at each other or something, you know, try to bite each other, that's terrible. Probably should not be opening these up on my lap, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh wow, look at this one. Now that he's been soaking, you can really see how bright and yellow he is. Like, look at that, dude. Holy crap, Nelly doesn't have any dirt on him. Gotta get some close-ups of these patterns, man, because jeez, these snakes are so freaking awesome. Like, look at this, dude. Holy crap. Man, look at them, dude, side by side, guys. Holy crap, dude. Just such a dream come true, man. I'm sure a lot of people won't get this, you know? Like, how would you spend so much money on snakes? Here's what I love, man. Doing this since I was a kid, dude. It's just such an honor to have these freaking snakes. More than anything, dude. Just being a part of the first of these into the country is just such a huge freaking deal. Just the ability to breed them, being some of the first people to breed them in the country, it's just such an honor to me, man. And I couldn't be more thankful. So, like I said before, Ryan, Kyle, Gianna, Josh, Brandon, thank you guys so freaking much. There's definitely a team effort on this one to make it happen, but it happened and they're here and they're here to stay. So maybe down the road, you know, people watching this channel, my venomous people on here, it's gonna be possible for more people to have these beautiful creatures, man, and just appreciate them in your own collection. That's it for this video. More to come, guys. These guys will be featured in so many more videos, I'm sure. Keep track of their growing and everything that's gonna be, you know, changing with them. Another really cool thing about these is they're both gonna visually change as they mature. The head is gonna get different colorations. Some things are gonna become more prominent. Some things are gonna kind of go away. Same thing with this one. The whites will be more prominent eventually. And then the adults are crazy looking. I will put a picture in this video of some of the adult albino baboons and they just look completely different when they do one as a baby's like the baby versus adults totally different coloration she's gonna get way more pinks possible reds oranges like dude the colors on this albino are just gonna keep getting way more intense over the years and it's just gonna be so awesome to watch the differences throughout the years like year one from year two and so on you know what i mean it's gonna be so freaking cool. Until next time, guys. Hope you appreciated this video. Super stoked to have these guys honored 
Like, I can't even put it into words. It's just so freaking cool. Till next time. Appreciate it. TylenolTattoos.com for all of your merch. Hit up Gianna on Instagram. Gianna Wyatt. Go get yourself a Christmas ornament. It'll be on your tree before Christmas, hopefully. I think today's the 15th, so you still got a couple weeks. Less than a couple weeks before Christmas. Dang, you guys gotta get on it. Stay tuned. Love you. Later. God bless. Work hard. Stay positive. Follow your dreams. And they'll come true. Be positive and make it happen. Till next time.